What's it gonna be for number three today, Niao? I'm feeling Runic Cube. Come on. Oh, another Astrolabe start. How delightful. Three transformed and upgraded cards means we might be able to do something really ambitious, like take this path, but it's all gonna depend on what the roll of the dice gives us. Our act boss is Hoomst. It is Guardian. Okay, I'll transform two strikes and one defend. Maybe even three strikes. Is three strike transforms an ironclad an acceptable thing to do? The chance that I get attack cards is pretty high. Hmm. Let's go two strikes, one defend. And we get two offensive cards and one defensive card. Perfect. Really good ones, too. Upgraded Rampage. Uh, normally not a card you see in my decks. A Rampage deals 8 damage and then becomes more powerful by 8 for this combat. I like Rampage as a card conceptually. Mathematically, this card simply doesn't work. Just because of... kind of how it fits into everything. The fact that it's one cost is really its ultimate problem. Uh, and the fact that it is a linear increase rather than any kind of percentage increase is also a problem here. Rampage deals 8, then 16, then 24, so on and so forth. <clears throat> the concept might become to, uh, to use Rampage as a primary scaling mechanism, try to build a deck around it, but I have to tell you, this is really not a good idea, um, as this card is very, very difficult to empower in such a way. You'll find it way easier to scale rampa uh, Anger or Body Slam, excuse me, anything that's zero cost, or to scale any of the strength scaling cards like Pummel or Sword Boomerang or Heavy Blade. I agree, Adonis. It should say deal eight damage and then double this card's damage. And I think then Rampage would be really cool. But it is it is still possible to to win using this card primarily. And more relevantly, I think Rampage still has a good use, which is the early game, especially against Act 1 bosses or Act 1 elites. And with that said, I think I'm going to charge bravely onwards into the Burning Elite here, hoping that not only because we have free weaken with Intimidate, but also some really powerful upgraded attacks here that we should be able to just clobber our way through almost anything. Problem is, we don't have Burning Blood, so we are losing health permanently whenever we take damage. There's the Body Slam. I also could totally get behind a Reckless Charge here. It's a zero cost attack. Exactly, Sean Dammit. My thinking is, if you were able to draw and play the Rampage a bunch of times, you could have done the same thing with a Body Slam Plus and probably done more damage. Hmm. I think I'm just going to take this Reckless Charge. It's no-nonsense damage for zero cost. Sure, it adds a, uh, a daze to the draw pile, which is a minor inconvenience. But getting ahead of enemies on the damage curve here can matter so much. I don't think we had a kill there. So we are down a fair bit of health. Oh man, offering? Offering with no healing. Ooh. Hmm. If strength affected the amount it increased by, that'd be kind of interesting, but I don't think it would be that uh, that relevant, actually. I do think you could make it a lot better just by upping the base damage of the card to, like, 10 or 12. Erasmus asks, can you still get Black Blood as a boss relic if you swap? No. It can no longer be offered the upgraded version of our Surger Relic. Man, that's going to cost so much health. Hmm. I'm gonna try it. Foolish, maybe? Maybe. And that definitely means I want to take no more fights. 
And we just want to go elite fight only from here, so that we're only spending our offering health uh, during elite combats. I will take the golden idol. We'll lose a little bit of max HP, but we'll gain bonus cash from here on out. Our hope is we either get sustain via the bloody idol in Act 2, or we're able to find some other kind of source of healing here. The telesize kind of helps out with the block game. Not a bad inclusion here. Although I think 45 gold for Metallicize is kind of questionable. It, it ends up so weak so quickly. This might be better off just a... I can't quite afford card remove and, and potion, can I? Not quite. I'll just go with card removal then. Minus one strike, please. Is that even what I want to do prior to these elites? I'm not sure. Actually, I'm quite sure that I don't want to do that. So where does that leave me? I think it just leaves me buying a potion. Swift potion or explosive potion, then? That is the question. Swift potion really helps against a knob. Laga, potentially. I guess so does the explosive. This is just very good overall usefulness. Okay. We'll take that into our elite fights. We're currently missing 15 health, so we heal 15 or heal 5 and gain 5 max health. I'll take the max health. Essentially get back what we paid for the golden idol. Onwards and upwards. The first up, one gremlin knob. Unfortunate no bash this turn, but that's okay. We'll employ the strength potion in, the, in this fight. And we should easily have this guy in three turns without further resource expenditure. Um, let's just qu quick math here. This is a base of 9, 13 times 2, plus 15 is how much damage? 26 plus 15. 41 damage is not quite a kill, so I'd have to use the explosive potion. Instead, I'll play Offering. Oh, I mean, we, we also have one draw to maybe get there. I think I'll just play the Offering, guarantee it. Keep this explosive potion. Take seven. So 12, uh, sorry, not 12. 13 total health paid to defeat the Grumlin Ob. We get an excellent reward in Orichalcum. If we end our turn without any block, gain six. Now I do wish I'd bought that Metallicize. How funny. Zenith29, thank you so much for three months of subboards. I have to say, I'm actually ignorant as to the details of whatever Spire update there's been. Yeah, Region 2.3, I did not notice that. Flex is kind of spicy with the Twin Strike. I actually quite like this True Grit with an upgrade. We just defeated a Gremlin Knob. Actually, yeah, I will take True Grit. And we're going to upgrade that True Grit. Yeah, it's a support for a feature I'm not familiar with of Steam that I will never use. That's okay by me. Okay, will it be Laga or Sentries? Laga. With Metallicize. Good. And I want that to be the wake-up turn, so we'll purge the... Actually, defend here. Wait one more turn. Rampage is absolutely the winning card for this fight specifically. Scaling up each time we play it and being more and more playable with the True Grit. It's actually how we're going to beat Guardian, too, is using the Rampage. here. I don't think so. Just let Orichalcum block for us. Oh, 
So draw three. Let's see, strikes are <clears throat> nine apiece. So if I draw three strikes, we don't quite kill. But I don't have three strikes. Okay, I will play this then. Yeah, because we can just kill. Good job, Offering. Get some more max health. Fruit Juice takes us back to 78 here, higher than starting. Blank Epilog Page, thank you so much for 30 months, the three metric years of support. <laughs> oh, that's right, I meant to show that off at some point today. We'll do that uh, probably towards the end of the stream. If you haven't seen it yet, the exclamation point unwinnable command. Um, kind of new in Spire Theory Crafting. There has been finally a provably unwinnable seed of Slay the Spire that's been discovered, which is kind of cool. There is no possible way to win. Like it's just on silent. Every other character has too much damage in their starting deck for us to find a way to prove that you can't win. And I suspect that there's ways to glitch to get by. Mm. We'll play that either today or if I forget today, we'll do it uh, tomorrow. Ubla says, you'd love to see if I could win it on another character. Okay, we'll have to try that too. I'm actually really, really excited for if, yeah, that's that's cool. If nobody's reported a win on the other characters yet. <clears throat> okay, I don't want any of these cards. Uh, we're going to go here. Find a strawberry. Wow, 85 max health and counting. Okay, we'll go this way then. We got the health. Double Rampage. They don't even help one another. Each Rampage is an island in and of itself. Evolve is an interesting idea with a Reckless Charge in the deck and with a very small deck overall. Evolve can be a real game changer in certain fights, but only certain ones. Really enables Rampage in general. Shrug's rather nice, too. Evolve upgrades to be even more draw, so status cards become additional draw rather than penalized draw. Wish I'd taken that power through. Really don't feel like we need Evolve for sentries because of the Aura Calcum, but I'm wondering if we want the Evolve for later times. I think I'll pick one up. And it will help against sentries, potentially. Although not by much. Stripping artifact for vulnerable barely matters, but might matter. Or for intimidate? Sure. <laughs> there we go. Not the card. And we should draw either a full block or something useful um, on each turn. At least. Just outright getting rid of Bash. It's too expensive to play in, in this fight anyway. So close. A 
Strike Dummy says cards containing the text Strike deal three additional damage. That is such a ludicrous find with this Twin Strike Plus. Wish we'd taken the Pummel Strike we saw earlier, but heck, I won't complain. That means our starter deck, or just our deck in general, does massively increased damage at no additional resource cost. It's a huge increase in our power, and it's going to let us continue to skip cards going into Act 2. I feel really good about right now. And well, yeah, we'll get one more elite. Harvest even more money. One more relic. Why the heck not? Ten damage twice. Dang. That's a lot of damage. Hmm. I don't think I should take Fire Breathing. I think we just want the Evolve and not a second power. Do I take an Armaments here to let me upgrade cards in hand? I don't think so. Deck is very small, so we mostly are able to upgrade the cards we care about directly. So I'll skip both of those. Go for one more upgrade. Do we upgrade the Evolve now? I don't think it's an important upgrade yet. We should upgrade Bash, Reckless Charge, or Offering. Now feels like a pretty good time to upgrade Bash, actually. It'll be our primary vulnerable card for a long time. And we want the additional turn as we go into Act 2. And lo and behold, we drew upgraded Bash turn 1 against the Gremlin Knob. Instant value. Is Rampage Plus worse than Strike with a Strike Dummy? Sadly, I think so. So this does 30, this does 12. We have a guaranteed kill if I don't play Reckless Charge. Therefore, I shouldn't play Reckless Charge. That way I guaranteed kill on the next turn and take zero damage here. We get a Pantograph healing us 25 at the start of the boss fight. Beautiful, that means I get an extra upgrade. And what's that? A Dark Embrace with Reckless Charge, with Offering, and with True Grit. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hey there, Purple Yeti. I might do some Elden Ring on stream after I've completed my first playthrough of it without spoilers um, and after the Twitch category for it calms down a bit. So maybe in like three months I'll, I'll start considering it, but I don't have any plans to do so currently. I have been playing it and I have been enjoying it. But right now I don't want to stream it. I upgrade this now. And we're going to rampage all over the Guardian's face. It's going to be pretty funny. Hmm. Keep that intimidate for now. Beautiful draw. I've been playing on uh, PS5, which has been pretty good <clears throat> performance wise. There's a few frame rate, like, roughnesses here or there, but. Uh, it's definitely better than I know my computer could do, so I'm happy with it. Play the Rampage, that's gotta be worth it. Take the six. Thirty-two damage Rampage now. Eh. 
and 60. He's gone. GG. So, that's, that's a pretty cool showing for the Rampage. I have to say, we've picked up cards that really support it. Although, I don't necessarily expect it to serve us all that well into future acts. However, Corruption Dark Embrace. Food for thought. Um, I think the bludgeon's actually not bad either. Just a big slap to Blanc anybody we want. Problem with Corruption Dark Embrace is that the deck has so few cards in it that we run out of cards extremely quickly by playing Corruption. And you cannot play Rampage as many times per turn as you want because it costs one each time. But what if... What if what I've been missing this whole time is that Rampage and Madness are the secret cards to go together so that if you make the Rampage zero cost, that's the, the key. I don't know. Either way, I'm definitely taking a Corruption here. And I am not entirely convinced by Runic Dome. Preventing me from seeing enemy intents makes it really hard to know whether I should play my very precious block cards or not. Hey there, Behemoth Guai. We're still missing Glugsider and one other card? Shadow Siege. Glugsider and Shadow Siege. I don't know how many hundreds of hours it's going to take to master those two. Sway Saraz, thank you so much for 15 months of support. So Sacred Mark would double the strength of our potions, or Tiny House would give us a bunch of stuff. 63 gold. Another potion, five more max HP up to 90. A random upgrade, which could help a little bit. And a card reward. Actually not a bad Tiny House, quite frankly. I believe Echo Form and Double Tap both work the way that you want them to with Rampage. I, like, oddly believe in this tiny house. Surely it's got to be the Sacred Bark. Let's take a Sacred Bark. Get some double strength potions. Deal 20 to all or apply six turns of weaken. Both could help me in an early elite fight. I think Sacred Bark can often really make the difference against an Act 2 elite if you walk in there with a potion or two, but we sh definitely should aim to not fight the Elites of Act 2 excessively here. What I do want to do is hit a Merchant. This is going to be the Merchant I go to for Shurzis here. Trinko says, Can Tiny House provide an upgraded card in Act 1? No, it uses the, rare, uh, the card upgrade chance of the Act that you're leaving. So no. Yes, I agree. I, if, if we had an empty potion slot, like, if I had weak potion and no explosive potion, I'd be much more easily convinced by the tiny house in that situation. But honestly, none of the above were particularly good. See ya, nerd birds. Rude. I could, I suppose, use the Explosive Potion, although I still wouldn't be able to kill this one. All right, so we're just taking minor damage. That's fine. This is more than minor. We're taking, well, four is minor. Yeah, minor damage. No problem. The Dreaded Triple Kaka. So I think what I do is play... She Rampage kills you? Good. Rampage here. Twin Strike here. And then we play Offering. Okay, not too bad, but still more health loss than I would have liked. For this fight. Maybe I should have used the explosive potion, but I think we'll be happier if we manage to keep that for slavers. Hmm. 
I mean, we have both a Dark Embrace and an Evolve. I have to say, this sure feels like the deck that takes two copies of Reckless Charge. And maybe then become part of our draw engine. If we can find ourselves a second wind or maybe a fiend fire or something, we can then turn that draw into damage as well. Or heck, even, yeah, with, um, oh, here we go. Fire breathing, we could do a lot of damage too. Does two Reckless Charges go infinite with Medkit? Asks Shmammerin. One Reckless Charge goes infinite with Medkit in this situation. Although you have to be able to draw the... a uh, dazed in your hand in the first place. Feel No Pain would be very nice. Dark Embrace, Defend, Defend, Reckless. I'm not going to play Offering this turn. Maybe I should. Don't have a Vault Down? No, it's fine. Mistake there. Playing the defend was also a slight mistake. Hmm. Twin strike hits really hard. This is eight by two, sixteen damage for Y energy. Yeah, we need the immediate draw. Well, the Dark Embrace did provide that, truthfully. I'm okay if we have to rest it one or even two times this act. Do I want this unupgraded Twin Strike, unupgraded Body Slam? No, I, I, I really don't. But I do want to read this book. Definitely. The book seems to be about an ancient named Niao, and it gave us the Nilri's Codex, letting us shuffle one of three random cards into the draw pile every turn. Incredible with corruption, because this is an almost infinite font of skills. Skills that are zero cost and draw new cards. So, that's good. That's really good. And there's a second win, the card I was hoping to see as a way to turn our Dazed into Block, an immediate draw. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. And... A couple of other hilarious things. Do you see what I see, chat? <laughs> Second Wind Madness Abacus card remove. That's what I see. Metallic eyes. that's actually not terrible either. That smells like stinky, stinky, delicious cheese. We actually have enough money for that. Let me just quickly verify. 157 plus 105 plus 75 plus 75. Over 12. Yes! We have one gold left over to spare. This is the remove, right? Yeah. It was meant to be. So, what is that going to let us do? That. 
I, I don't know how good the madness is actually going to be, but we're going to be able to, to draw the same cards over and over again, spinning the deck in a way that gives a lot of block with the Abacus. Not actually sure about the corruption now, though. Also, I'm going to end up going to another shop because I need to rest. Also, snake plant. Oh, no. Los Riantos, thank you so much for 31 months of support. Please, you have to die. Um... Take the pummel strike. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> we just end it just ends here and now, huh? She waits. Twice. No wait, second wind. If I just play the second wind I gain fifteen, not enough either. Oh no. I appear to have died. I guess it's got to be Dark Embrace's second win, then. And we have to hope to draw Intimidate, Offering, or True Grit. Okay, that's that's the only line that has a chance to not die here, is Dark Embrace's second win. Would I have a kill here if I'd played the Strike last turn? Man, I would, wouldn't I? With the Explosive Pot. <laughs> Still alive. Easy game. All right, we made it. Just barely, but we made it. We have a 40 damage fire potion. Yeah. Can you imagine that fight with Rink Dome? That would have been terrifying. I'm sleeping now. We're also not getting anything here, unfortunately. Blood potion might have been nice. That's 40% of our max health. In a jar. I don't think I should play this yet. Perfect timing. Milri's Codex paying off massively there. Just absolutely massively, and again with this Feel No Pain. Incredible. Chuckernaut's amazing, but look what we have. As the deck gets smaller and smaller, the Havoc, or sorry, the uh, Abacus starts to generate block for us. In large quantities. Oh, it's beautiful, chat. Shockwave, AoE weak and vuln, it's zero cost with corruption, works with Dark Embrace, you better believe that is getting added to the deck. 
And you better believe I'm going to rest again, because I am a coward. And I have low health. Bottled Lightning allows us to put a particular skill in the opening hand. What about Bottled Offering? That sounds painful, but also very helpful. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Or I could take the blue key here, actually, also very good. Giving me another relic later. That also then lets me upgrade the offering to be very, very, very good. Okay, let's do that. Bag of prep plus T set. Bag of prep don't draw you five cards. Um, I'd better rest first, though. Yeah, more like four, indeed. Because you only have four cards plus the draw. So I agree on principle there, actually. Yes. Confuse me, see if I care, when all my cards are free anyway. Cool. Losing health, though. Rage, Wild Strike. I'm okay with an Armaments at this point. Not amazing, though. Just, it's more fuel for Corruption. But I don't necessarily want to give Corruption more fuel. I might not even be playing Corruption during certain battles. Let's rethink this. What I will do is remove another card. Fewer cards this can have initially, the better it's going to perform. Although upgrading the three defends would also be uh, certainly appreciated here. Upgrade offering. All right, and here's our one elite that we're going to use our super powered potion to deal with if necessary. I defend and then madness, it's guaranteed to make bash free. That's kind of cool. Sure. I'll do that. 7 plus 8 is 15. Good. Soul. Charges actually. Get him, Rampage. Boop. Okay, we didn't even actually need our stuff. 
That's so funny. But we do get a bottled tornado allowing us to pick a particular power to start in the opening hand, and I am super gonna take Dark Embrace to pair with the offering. It's just the easiest, most sensical one-two punch combo. It makes the offering draw one more card immediately. So it's another plus one draw on turn one, in addition to getting the Embrace down. So now it really is a true draw five on turn one. And then most of the rest of our deck draws more as well. Beautiful. And then I don't want spot weakness, I don't think. Actually, it wouldn't be bad necessarily, but no, I don't want it. I don't want it. We're going to upgrade. Evolve. And I think my goal is to not play the Corruption during this fight. Let's see if I'm willing to do that. Maybe I just play it on turn one. That's the other option. We don't need it. It's fine. I already have one second win, although this one would be providential otherwise. Get rid of all of these defends, please. Are we ethical gamers here? I think we are. There's nothing in the discard pile. It might take my rampage. That'd be sad. So wait, how does this work? We go reckless charge, reckless charge, trigger the strike, draw a million cards. Reckless Charge, Reckless Charge, Rampage? Wait, how does this work? I can't steal those cards because they're in my hand. Well, that makes sense. Unfair, actually. Oh wait, I'm not gonna draw. Oh yeah, I am gonna draw two. Okay, good. I can just do this, right? No. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, the Abacus. 
Normally the second wind would have been really useful there, but I decided that I wanted to not kill the orbs. I think the easy play would be just kill one of the orbs, get the second wind. I think we could skip here. I think we could also very reasonably take the brutality. Juggernaut would be really funny. That's true. Hmm. Because then we get to do Juggernaut Abacus. <laughs> But indeed, paying the two costs for the Juggernaut is quite difficult to do here. I think we'll just skip all these cards. Keep the deck nice and small. And oh, do we get it even smaller with the empty cage? Do we take the fusion hammer so we no longer smith at rest sides? Or do we go runic pyramid letting us retain the hand every turn? I think it's gotta be pyramid, especially with a bottled offering plus. The amount of nonsense this deck can do with a pyramid, I'm sure. A thousand percent sure that if we take Runic Pyramid, we end up with some kind of infinite combo. Or, if not infinite, semi-infinite that's very strong. Um, but cage removing, like, strike, twin strike, or maybe even remove the rampage, because heck it. No downside at all with these days, because they get rid of themselves at the end of the turn, so we actually get to benefit from the evolve reckless charge thing with Pyramid. It's rather cool. The thing that Pyramid lets us do that's super, super strong is just hold all of the attacks in hand so that Abacus can do its dirty work. It's more control over our draws, that's right. Helps us ensure that we can always true grit the cards we need to. Helps us line the madness up on whatever card we want to madness. I'll take Pyramid here. Hey, hey, everyone. Did you know that you can now support me directly on YouTube by getting a channel membership? For as low as five bucks a month, you'll get access to perks like custom badges and emojis to use in comments and discounts on the merch store, all while helping support me and this channel to do what I love every day. Just click the join button below to get started. Now back to the video. And now I think my top priority is to go to shops mainly. At least one, ideally two. This one looks easy to get to. Shops for me are card removes. Shops for me are also potential to see Feel No Pain or potential to find a game-breaking relic. There are quite a few I would describe as meeting that qualification at this moment. But be careful of how often I play this offering, mind you. Kick seems really good here, actually. Now that I think about it. I could have full blocked this turn easily if either of these had not been on the bottom. Uh, that's unfortunate. Mm, dang it. Nothing I can do about that now. I guess I should have Reckless Charge because the Evolve? Hmm. Unfortunate. But I did do that to myself, I guess. Oh, and we also get a little bit more block there. That's fine then. Good job, Epicus. a lot more comfortable than the last fight did. I think I'll even avoid playing Offering here. Just take three instead of six.
There we go. That's right, Madness on Trugit would actually be an infinite of sorts. Oh shoot. Oh, that's fine. Thank you, Epicus. Armor Plus and Body Slam, also pretty spicy. I'll take an Armaments Plus now that we have a Runic Pyramid, letting me upgrade everything in my hand as a skill. I think that's pretty good overall. Madness the Bash. Ooh, not the Evolve. Foolish! health can I gain off of feed? Quite a bit, actually. And it even works with the Dark Embrace. Or Fire Breathing could result in damage from our combo here. Kind of interesting. I don't think that actually helps me, though. Take the feed. It's happening, chat. We are in actually silly town now. Oh my goodness. Yes. Actually infinite now. Just like really easily, very powerfully, super duperly infinite. And of course the feel no pain to go with. Can't afford dual wield afterwards. Uh, my main thing dual wield would let me do is either make more reckless charges, question mark, or um, actually more feel no pains, hilariously. But again, we don't need that with the the abacus. We are we are in really. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh yes. Which chat? Which chat? Yes. I don't have very much energy, do I? Heck. Oh, that, uh, that does not help. This turn, next turn though. Field of pain last turn. It's all right. I 
I actually got the zero cost rampage though. How cool is that? Just draw it over and over again. Boom. Easy peasy. Sentinel could really help with our energy problems. Body Slam is pretty breakable here. But we don't need Body Slam anymore. I'll take one Sentinel. But we're mostly just done. We, we have what we need. To win this run. But I think upgrading Corruption would help a lot. Begin to fall, lose Twin Strike, defend or Corruption. Twin Strike, you served us well with a Strike Dummy. But your time is at an end. You are no longer useful to this deck. I'm gonna sleep here just for a bit of safety. Ooh. Gotta take the blue key. Don't fall for it. And 94 gold for the red mask. Actually a pretty reasonable price to pay. Removes artifact from Donu and Deca as well. Sure. I'll pay out here. Much more broken. Interesting. How much broken can you believe more broken can you be than completely? I can now do this. Delicious. Infinite block. Infinite abacus. Infinite damage. Infinite feeding. And all of it's free. For Time Eater, we'll need a higher damage card than Reckless Charge, says Jay Dublinson. Well, guess what? I have the card for you. I have the card for you. Got to recall the final fire here. But first, can this deck beat a Reptomancer? I'm going to go with probably. We've got Bottled Dark Embrace, Bottled Offering, don't forget. That's our turn one every time. Good enough. Fiendfire? No, no Fiendfire. This is fine then. Let's have fun with the real one. You can always get fire breathing from Nilri's Codex if we need her, right? And upgrade it. All in the name of good fun, of course. Thank you. 
Could also add Juggernaut to the mix. For real spice. Letter opener is going to do some additional damage for us, rewarding us for playing skills. Shrug it off actually just seems like a good card. At 99 health. This fight ain't won. Free feed. Potion is 10 strength for one turn. Honestly, I don't feel like I need that. Okay. Get a nice juicy 25 hit point heal at the start of this fight, and we're set up to absolutely destroy these nerds with the current deck of cards. completely ruin them, really. Take some damage here, though. Flame Barrier sounds good. Let me be playing our Corruption here. Bash, I like it. Juggernaut, get in here. How does he do it? Who's next? It is the time slug. Okay, we have to we have to prove that we have a winning strategy here against time slug, which is rampage. That's the play. Rampage.
I think our block engine, like, already also just does a pretty good job. Second win being free. Ooh, I might delete, delete corruption then. Take another shockwave. Uh, not yet, though. Yeah, I'm just going to delete corruption then. This card. Okay, here we go. So now we should second win all the other attack stuff. Yeah. The slime are actually also helping me. And this is now a loop. Double Reckless Charge, Rampage, Second Wind. Double Tap, even better. Um, is that too much? Yeah, that'll kill him. Trendy Candy, thank you so much for 26 months of support. Delicious. Well, the time slug was no problem, and the rampage actually got used. This is pretty cool. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this wacky abacus infinite? You ready your blade and deal 2266. Good year. What a mental run this has been. All courtesy of Boss Swap on Ironclad. This is why we do it. This is why we change things up, because you never know what's going to happen. So you try. I don't know if that was actually the best upgrade. Here's a dual wield. In case we want more copies of Feel No Pain. I don't think it matters much. Duplication Potion could be really nice. Our next two cards get played two times. That's got to be better. Double Dark Embrace, double Feel No Pain, or something like that. There's a lot of really good things Dupot can do. Let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now, there's a turn one for the ages. The perfect hand. Doesn't get any better than that. Apple Tunes, thank you so much for 32 months of support. The Ridiculosity. Yeah, also, thanks for the burns, by the way. Nerd. It's not going to last very long. What I didn't do was upgrade feed. That's okay. Should be 
infinite next turn. Thanks. Boop. And the triple bottle. A bottled flame to go with our bottled tornado and bottled lightning. What'll we put in the bottle? I don't know. Put Rampage in the bottle. Because we can. Here's a... <laughs> here's a thumbnail for you. Easy. And beautiful. We do, in fact, get to Duplication, Potion, Feel No Pain, uh, Double Dark Embrace on turn one here. Easy peasy. So now we get two draw whenever a card is exhausted, eight block whenever a card is exhausted. And we're off to the races here. Good set of cards to upgrade. I'm not going to play this corruption, am I? Shockwave, though. Time for second win, so it's just madness and hope. It's the second win! Easy game! Alright. That should be all we need then. Again. Actually, wait. One reckless charge isn't upgraded? I'm okay with that. Pretty wild. Can also use the second win on these if we wanted even more block. It's gonna cap it here. There we go. dare you. Thing is, we can only play the Rampage three times per turn. Whereas we can play the Reckless Charges an infinite number of times per turn. Get him. 
Yes! Technically, I don't even need the medical kit because we got the second win for free. The madness. Good job, Feed. GG. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.